Okay, I'm back. I'm do one more writing session before I got my calls. Uh, okay, well, I, I was able to lower the desk. Uh, hopefully that will help. I'm starting to get a little, a little pain in my wrists. Um, by the way, when I was climbing, I found if I was uh, doing climbing, like bouldering or top roping or whatever, um, I didn't didn't have pain in my wrist, even if I was typing a lot. Well, I don't know. I don't know if other people have noticed it. Uh, but I'm not climbing right now. So anyway, um, lowered the desk. Hopefully, you know, my elbows are above my hands. I could lower it even more if I wanted to. Uh, try that. Now, during this little break, which is longer than I thought, you can probably see my clock. It's uh, 1156. So I've, I've set my timer now to 1215, so I have a little more time. So I've got about 20 minutes. Um, during that break, stopped. I got some coffee. It's probably good anyway to take a break like that. And... You know, when I stepped away from the keyboard and I just started thinking, I don't know when it came to me exactly, but I was thinking, you know, I haven't been feeling f for working on this book like I do anything idiosyncratic or creative. Like, who am I to talk about it? And then, I, <laughs> then it came to me like, wait. Haven't my friends started uh, expressing concerns about, you know, my mental state because I'm doing this completely ridiculous thing um, of making one kilo tube of videos and then making all these books? Then haven't they started saying like that's ridiculous in the, some of the comments? Um, and isn't that very idiosyncratic approach forcing me to be creative? So. You know, I was thinking like I, I had wanted to start a podcast, and so I did a bunch of research into how do you do a podcast and how do you set up the RSS feeds, and I got an account on some sort of thing. I forget what it's called, Sprout something. I don't remember. Um, so I'm paying monthly for that, and I tried tried recording a podcast and, with a friend, and you know, I think. We had a had a fun conversation, but I didn't understand like we had to level the inputs from the two different microphones. It, it, it just from an audio standpoint, it just like didn't work. And I haven't made another one since. But then I started realizing like, wait, even though it's been you know a month and a half or something since I tried making a podcast episode. I have a podcast. It's called Will Radio. Like, that is my podcast. And originally, my podcast was going to largely be me just talking. But I was too afraid to do that. I didn't know how to do that. Um, but out of necessity, you know, here's the other way to think about it. It's like, if you're going to make 1,024 videos, you better make videos about something. you got to make videos about something. And eventually, I get bored of doing anything. So it's like, so this idea of Will Radio is like, okay, well... I want to make a video and I don't have much time. Uh, how about Will Radio? I don't know. It just came to me based on like the Japanese anime radio shows or whatever. Um, so that's an example of creativity. And it's also an example of me using this experiment. I don't even call it an experiment at this point because I think it succeeded for me. I mean, I'm making videos, right? I've made more videos now. Um just in the last week than I had in the previous six years combined, I think, or at least the previous five years combined. So that part's working. I don't seem to be, I don't seem to feel especially um, anxious about making the videos anymore. Every once in a while I get a little, a little anxiety, but then I just do it. You know, I need to make three videos a day at least. Um, so, so it's changed my attitude. And the other thing I was thinking if, when I was getting a coffee is like, if I only made two videos a day, right, which would be a failure, I would still have, you know, 730 videos this year, which we, which is a ridiculous number. So the idea that that is a failure 
I've completely changed my notion of what success and failure is, right? And, uh, you know, now I've got an audio setup, I've got the hardware that that works for me, and I know how to do the software, like all that stuff. I mean, it's kind of, you know, I'm not, I'm not some super expert at it, but it's all good enough. It's all good enough, and it's all set up, and I keep it set up so that if I want to, I can sit down and just make a video. So, and I'm making videos, so that works. And I'm working on a book. So, as an experiment, I, I, I'm I'm willing to declare at least the video part a success. I'm making videos. I'm putting them out there. I'm not obsessing over comments. <clears throat> that was part of it before. Is you know, very easy for people to get caught up in the comments. And I know I did. If anyone said anything negative, I get like super upset. <clears throat> um, it's like well. Or, or I would like obsess over over the recordings. Um, this time it's like, well, let me level the video. Okay, it sounds okay here. Sounds okay here. Sounds okay here. Level it. Upload it. You know, maybe I have time to listen to it. Maybe I don't. You know. Uh, so it's just different. So I'm gonna write the book on that. Um, I'm gonna write the book. It's still on idiosyncratic and creative thinking, but I wanted to make it concrete anyway. I wanted to make it concrete. I wanted to make it specific to myself. I wanted to make it a book that only I could write. No one else in the world can write this book. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't know how to say it. Talk about lulls driven development. Kilo tube and Mila Asimov. At least it makes me lull. <laughs> Mila Asimov. <laughs> oh. so, so one Mila Asimov is um, actually a little less. Actually, I, I got it wrong. He had more than 500 books. So I don't want to do 22 Mila As or 20 Mila Asimovs. Did they, they put it down? 20, how many mil asimovs? I don't know if I... Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, I have to check it out, but it's more like like 25 mil asimovs, actually. I, I did the math wrong. Yeah, he, he, had, he had over 500 books, if you count the books he edited. In fact, I'm not even sure there's a an exact count of his books. He had so many. I guess it counts how many editions you count and so forth. But I think he had over 300 books that he was sole author of. Um, anyway... <clears throat> So is about my kilo tube and Mila Asimov challenge to myself. And one one reason I thought, oh yeah, of course. Okay, so this was like the of course moment, right? So so when I was thinking um when I was thinking of you know, when it came to me the other day when I was looking at this book on the Riemann paper, um, you know, I originally said, I didn't know where I got this idea to do the most beautiful program ever written as my second book. It just came to me. Well, that wasn't true. Once I, once I finished making that video, it's like, oh, yeah, that was the book I was reading when I had the idea. And then, of course, the thought was, I want to write a book like this. Wouldn't that be great? And it's like, wait, I, I, I could. I've already given a talk on it that people liked, so I'll write a book on it. Um, so the of, of course moment was like, hey, I was starting to write about how, you know, some of the things with the Kilo Tube and Millie Asimov challenge, you know, how that fits into the other thoughts I have. And it's like, wait, isn't that by far the most idiosyncratic thing that I've done recently? And, you know, this is the book I could send back in time you know, not just to when I was a graduate student or undergrad or hobbyist or working in industry, you know, uh, three months ago or or maybe even one month ago, right? If I had sent this book back, when I finished this book, if I sent it back to myself three months ago, I say, look, here's what you're going to do. Here's what you're going to do. Just do this. Just do this, and then here's what you're going to get out of it. So here's the problem. 
You keep telling yourself that you want to do certain things. Now, maybe I tell other people things that that's fine. Uh, but it's what I tell myself. It's that, you know, like every beginning of every year and several times just each year, I always write down what are the things I care about? What are the things I want to do? And then, you know, a few months later, I look at those lists and I'm like, uh, well, here are 10 things and I'm doing one and a half of them, something like that. And this is the same one and a half that I did last year and the year before. And here are the things I claim are really important to me that I'm not doing. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's the whole reason I'm doing this. The whole reason I'm doing this is to get me to, um, I mean, the, yeah, that's, you know, <laughs> the, the, the actual purpose of every single thing I'm doing here with the videos and the books is to align what I tell myself I care about and want to do um, with what I actually spend my time, attention, energy, enthusiasm on. That's really the whole point. This is the point. That's why I'm doing all this. <clears throat> so, you know, what are things? That, I mean, I was looking at this list the other day. Japanese, music. Uh, I want to learn physics this year. In particular, I want to learn general relativity. I want to learn like sort of like modern understanding of classical mechanics. Okay, so those are kind of two things I want to, um, <clears throat> and how related to reversible computing. There's a quantum version of reversible computing. I want to start classical. Uh, I want to learn <clears throat> computer hardware and FPGAs um, <clears throat> and tape out an ASIC. And Google at least had, I mean, Google's letting people off left and right, right? But um, they had some sort of program where if your design was, was open source, you could tape out a chip um, through this program. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's not on the latest process or anything like that, but just going through that, um, create a mini Canron machine and a scheme machine. Okay. Um, A new relational programming language. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Get over ladder anxiety for StarCraft Brood War. Man, StarCraft Brood War ladder. Whoa, 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 whoa. People have been playing that game since it came out like 25 years ago or whatever. Those, the people who played Brood War on ladder. They're probably pretty serious. Oh, man. I thought I thought uh, StarCraft II ladder was tough. Um, draw on paint. Make a... Dojinshi on the beauty of computation and sell it at Kamaket in Japan. <clears throat> hmm. 
and or at Zen and I forget how it's uh, in the Z-I-N in uh, Akihabara <clears throat> okay so these are the sorts of things I put down on my lists okay these are the things I claim I I want now I will say you know it's not like I haven't done any of these um, now I have a forcing function for this. I'm I'm giving a talk at the Houston Functional Users Group or something like that. Uh, February is it 21st? Yeah, so I'm giving a, giving a talk, on, <laughs> and so this is like the forcing function thing, right? So, hey, uh, do you want to give a talk? What's it going to be on? It's like, uh, yeah, here's my new function. Here's my new relational programming language. <laughs> I haven't done any work on it at all. Um, so, yeah, that's 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 a good one to do. Make some videos uh, working on that. Let me see. I think I've got it on my phone. I got some of these. Let's see if I've got anything else. Yeah, I've got a bunch of these. I write these lists down. Then I. It's not that I don't do anything about it, I do. Mm. Mm -hmm. A lot of this is writing related or making videos. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put in one more, which is like some retro computing. That could go with the hardware and FPGAs possibly. I've got a few others, but you know, you. You get the you get the point. It's like trying to do trying to do these things while having you know sort of the research job, which uh, depending on how you do it is more than one job if if done well. Um, I just found that challenging. So I could usually I would get like one or two things, but you know maybe there's a way for me to tie more of this like for music I want to do live musical performance on, uh, for these videos uh, it, all right At least one. I'm making this up as I go. Okay, at least once one per week. All right, so I'm going to do at least one live. When I say live, I don't mean I'm necessarily streaming. Although who knows? Maybe I'll figure out streaming. Um, but what I mean is I'm going to do a stream, and I'm going to record a live musical performance, and it's going to be one take. <clears throat> uh, I guess live. <clears throat> Or, or one take recorded. I mean, you'll just have to take my, <laughs> to take my word that it was one take. But when you see the results, I don't think you'll doubt it. Um, and the thing is, I don't play an instrument. I don't play an instrument. I don't know music. I mean, I've, I've tried learning piano and guitar. Uh, I've got a bunch of synthesizers. I've got synthesizers I've given away. I've got a synthesizer in front of me. I got one on the side. I got another one in front of me. Um, I don't know how to use any of these things. I mean, I know that there's a chord. Okay. Anyway, that's enough. But um, so part of the challenge for me is I want to try to tie these things. To making videos. Or or to the twenty million moths. Okay, so music. All right, I know how to tie that, and then, and I will say that I wanted to do a screenplay or a novel or short stories. That was another thing I wanted to do. All right, so so that's turning into a book. 
that's part of the Milly Um So that's, so that's 25. So, you know, that's at least uh, two Milly Asimov's worth of sci-fi or whatever. I, I said uh, sci-fi, okay, right? Okay, so there we go. There, there we have two things tied. Um, for the physics, you know, I, I want to revert uh, do the reversible computing. So we're gonna do something over there. Okay. There we go. Uh, so I want to understand how reversible computing is related to relational computing, if it is. Uh, you know, the computer hardware. All right, here's how we're going to do that. We're going to create a mini Kenron machine and a scheme machine. Yeah, let's create them both. Got plenty of videos left this year. Uh, here we go. Create a new relational programming language. All right. Well, I mean, I already have a forcing function for that one, right? That's like, I don't have a choice. I got to do it anyway. That's that's actually, you know, so so agreeing to give a talk, uh, that's sort of like a little, a little baby version of this. If I want to give a talk on something, I want to learn about something, I'll, I'll just choose that as a top topic for a talk. Uh, so it forces me. Sometimes I don't give a very good talk, but it forces me to learn about something or think about something really hard. Um, all right. Okay. Record some Brood War games. Record Brood War ladder games. Yeah. Okay. Do something there. Um, do, do, do. yeah, with the, with these other ones, yeah. So, so the doujinshi and the drawing and painting, uh, I think those go together. And maybe they go together with Japanese. You know, maybe there's something there. You know, maybe that can make these sub parts. stream making this or, or make recordings of this. I didn't say it'd sell any. I didn't say it'd be any good. Um, retro computing. What do we do with retro computing? Retro computing, you know, pretty clearly ties into the, the computer hardware. So that'd be one way. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm kind of not too worried about the retro computing in a way, because I think there are lots of ways for me to, to do that. And I've done some retro computing, but it also scares me in sort of the cobbler's children have no shoes approach. That's like, because, you know, I grew up using Commodore 64s and all that, and I've got a Commodore 64 manual in front of me. Um, that I won't get around doing it, but all right, uh, make some vids. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I will make some videos having to do with retro computing. Uh, that's to be determined exactly what they'll do, what I'll do there. Um, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this fits together. Uh, okay, it fits together up here. All right. So we're going to go through, and we're going to, we don't have to go through the whole book, but we're going to do uh, the 8 bit arcade. 
FPGA. You know, it's like uh, I think it's Verilog thingy. Build a classic um, video game. And that's the uh, Stephen Hug book. Yeah. Okay, so that, that will be a way into the computer stuff, uh, the hardware, the FPGAs and all that. So, you know, that's one way to dip our toes in to get a better idea because I've done very little Verilog. Very little. Um, so I, I'm just not conversant with it. Okay, so um, I think that's it. That's a pretty good way to to do that. Uh, and so that's what my book's going to be about. That's what this book, book one, is going to be about this whole experiment, this whole challenge. I should call it a challenge, not an experiment. Like I said, I don't think it's really a challenge in the sense it's it's just to get me over the hump, you know. It's that uh, it's that go saying, lose your first one hundred games as quickly as possible. Okay, make my first. 100, make my first one kilo tube. Well, we'll say uh, 100, make, we'll make my first 100 uh, bad videos as quickly as possible. Okay, so after 100 videos, I'll start getting a clue maybe. Um, <clears throat> And we're, we're going <laughs> to, maybe that was a Freudian slip. <laughs> uh, and, uh, I, I think there's at least a 10 to 1 compression factor between videos and books. So I think, um, I think it's okay. It's okay to do the first 10 bad books as quickly as possible. But that's the idea. Um, that's the idea of this whole thing is to get me doing the things that doing end finishing okay here we go that's what that's what this book's about and that's what this whole challenge challenge not experiment All right, well, it's time to go. Um, Well, I've got a lot more thoughts. Even just getting coffee, I had more thoughts than this, but I, I wrote some of them down. I'll have, I'll have more thoughts, but that's really what this is about. I mean, and so this is part of it, right? Is like about being honest.
Okay. Well, that's that's what the book's going to be about. Uh, the of the of course moment. <laughs> trust the trust the of course moment. No chickening out. I'll, I'll I'll try to chicken out. I'm sure I'll try to chicken out. No chickening out. No chickening out. No chickening out. There we go. That's what we're going to do. That's what the book's about. And it's not a change. I mean, I thought for a minute, okay, is this me doing the thing I said I wasn't going to do where I said I was going to write one book and then once I, once it starts getting hard, I, I want to switch the topic? I don't think so because this is what the book is about. This is the entire thing about idiosyncratic and creative thinking. That's that. That's exactly why I'm doing this challenge. Okay. All right, so that feels good. That feels like I figured out what I actually want to do with this this book. Um, and I also feel like, in a sense, I can't go wrong at this point because I'm just going to write for myself what I'm going to tell myself what I needed to hear in the past and probably what I'm going to need to hear in the future. I'll write that down. Okay. Great. There we go. There we go. All right. I don't know if I'll do any more writing on the book today. Today, Maybe. Maybe uh, later. But I already feel like kind of the big aha moment has happened. Um, you know, still have to write a book. It's not done. But I've gone from something super nebulous where how do I give advice to the whole world to something really, really specific that's idiosyncratic and individualized to myself. I can do that. That is that is what I do. So. Um, I just have to do it. I just have to do it. Now I just have to write. Okay. Well, I can grind through it. I can grind through it. So that's what I'll do. All right. Uh, thank you. I'll talk to you soon.